hi angels welcome back to another resin video so in this video we're gonna be making another resin clutch purse so i've already made a resin clutch purse with some real butterflies but i did not like the way how it turned out the color of the butterfly just completely disappeared it was just it i didn't like the way how it turned out so i decided to make another one as always the butterflies is from amazon the clutch purse is from Amazon as well. The dry press flowers that we're going to be using is from Amazon. Basically, everything in this video is by Amazon, but it's not sponsored. <laughs> so, we're going to be doing a little different method. Because I think it was because of the resin. That's why it looked and turned out the way how it did. So, I decided to use some UV resin. So, first thing I'm going to do is take out the butterfly. Try to get it as centered as possible check in to see how it's looking and then to make sure that it doesn't move around and that it stays in one place what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna add some uv resin on the wing so it can stick onto the purse just a little tiny bit it's a tiny little drip drip after doing that i'm just gonna go over with my uv light so that it can cure it Trying to like set it up at a different angle. Just curing it with my UV light. <laughs> it really doesn't take that long to cure. You cure the top part and then you cure underneath it just to make sure that everything is good. The birds are back. Yay! I haven't heard them in like a few days. It sounds so beautiful. So I checked on it and it was a little bit sticky. So I decided to go right again with my UV light. This time a little closer. A little personal. <laughs> After it's dry, I flip it over to see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. Now we can start adding down there our dry pressed flowers, add a little bit of some UV resin into the center, place it where we place the UV resin just to cover that up a little bit. Go in with all of our colors. Some white, some purple, some light purple, some yellow. We're gonna go, well, I don't think I use yellow, but the flowers are purple. Purple, purple, purple. Curing it with my, with our UV light again. I don't know why I can't talk. I keep on stumbling over my words. Looks perfect. Flip it over just to see how it's looking. So is that okay? Let's start making this look as pretty as we possibly can. So now we're going with the big flowers. Add a little bit of some UV resin onto the clutch purse. Then placing down the flowers there. Keep on repeating the same steps. There's no bubbles so I don't need to worry about popping in the bubbles. I just need to be placing the flowers on top of the resin. Going in with some green. On both sides, we're going to be matching it up. Some purple as well up top. Some little tiny whites at the bottom. A little bit of some yellow. We only have one piece of yellow flowers in there. Well, it was two, but a little bit of some UV resin got on there. And then it accidentally cured, so it was just sticking on a piece of paper. I couldn't get it up. So for the flowers that I just placed in there, I'm just be adding a little bit of some UV resin so that everything can be sticking onto the clutch purse so that nothing is moving around. And now I'm just placing on there my UV light and we're going to be curing it from all sides, from all angles so that it cures perfectly. And it all is well. Curing it.
Make sure you ensure to go over all sides. So make sure I cured. Make sure the lights is hitting everything perfectly and well. Now I'm just checking to see how it looks. It looks okay, but there's still some spaces there. So I'm going over there with some of my big flowers, breaking them apart if that's necessary. Placing the flowers down in there. Try to match them as best as I possibly can. Just to completely cover up the clutch purse with as much flowers as I can. Just make it look. Make it look like what? Just make it look not empty. Because I feel like without the flowers, it's just like there's spaces that could need it. And then I'm just placing a little bit of some resin on top so that the flowers can be either on either carrying on top of another flowers or it's going on the clutch itself. Going over it with my UV light as well. And that's how it's looking. Curing it with the UV light. Making sure to go over all the sides. Make sure that it's curing properly so the flowers are sticking down. I'm just checking it to see how it's looking. And I like it. It looks so pretty so far. So far, so good. And the butterfly, the back of the butterfly, it looks so pretty as well. I didn't want to get rid of the color, so we're just going to be covering everything up with some clear resin. The butterfly looks so beautiful from the front, from the back. Like, everything just looks so great. You can see the back of it right there. It just looks so good. There's a plastic on top of the purse that I did not remove. I usually don't remove it until the end, just in case I feel any resin get on top of it. But it looks so good.